Hey there, I am fine art photographer and educator and OM System Ambassador Matt Seuss, and I'd like to invite you to an amazing photo workshop experience I have planned for 2023. My 2023 Grand Teton June Landscape and Wildlife Photo Workshop. I've been leading photo workshops in the Teton since 2015, and I probably offer the most photo workshops there each year from spring through winter, including a couple Milky Way and Night Sky workshops too. I know the park better than even my own backyard. If you want to experience the dramatic beauty of the Tetons, both from the stunning landscapes as well as the varied wildlife, all while tremendously improving your photography, then I'd love for you to join the small group I'm putting together. Now instead of listening to me talk about my photo workshops, I'd like for you to listen to two of my 2022 June workshop students tell you about their experiences during this workshop, Regina and Pat. We all had an amazing time together photographing the Tetons, and they can inform you about my workshops better than I can. And in case you were wondering, all the photos that you see in this video were shot during that June 2022 workshop. So listen to what they have to say, and consider joining me for my 2023 Grand Teton June Landscape and Wildlife Photo Workshop, or one of my other photo workshops. I'd love to be able to help you with your photography while creating memories that will last a lifetime. So this is my first time taking a workshop with Matt, and um, I've taken some in the past that I thought were questionable, but by far, Matt was amazing in every way. Um, I would say, uh, especially his um, knowledge of the park, where to go, um, where the best light is, where the animals might be, and then the techniques on how to um, photograph each thing. Overall, it's like I've never seen an instructor this highly skilled that I've been around with in the past. So I would say I'm so happy to have done it. One of the things Matt does is he helps you learn more as yeah. you're taking your pictures. And he tries to help you uh, take better pictures. And he wants to know, do you need any help? And that's, that's one of the good things is that he helps us um, be better photographers. And identifies, you know, the compositions of the pictures you don't even think about. Um, so I've been to several other workshops, um, two other ones in particular, and w the one, w w I received very little instruction on what we were doing, what was to be, what are we looking for to photograph, or even what lenses you should be using at this point. You, we were just kind of like dropped off and go, go photograph that one. And I've been on several workshops and the difference between how Matt does his workshops and the others is they'll tell you, uh, well, you can get out here and find where you want to shoot, and they don't give you any hints on what the composition could be and what some changes to your composition uh, could be to make it a better photograph. And they also don't help you help to explain why you would do a setting a certain way. And that's one of the things that I need is why, because. I can follow directions to change my settings, but it helps if you know why and what the effect is going to be once you change those settings. So, so what I found particularly um, unique and majestic was Matt's ability to change to the conditions, the temperature conditions, the lighting conditions, the animal conditions. You know, like we were never like, oh, well, what are we going to do next? You know, like, you know, he he always was thinking what's next if this don't work he had plan b plan c and so on and it was like we just kept on going even if it rained and one of the things matt also did with the park is that he adjusted to locations which best fit the group and he didn't just say you're going to do this we're going to take this photograph here and that's all you're going to do he took the temperature of everybody and he adjusted where we went in the park and he knew where everywhere we were going in the park and where the best photographs were going right. to be and where most of the time the less crowds were but with the animals yeah but he knew where to find the animals yeah for us to be able to photograph which yeah. was which was very good so i would recommend um if you're considering a photo workshop um to go with matt um because i've already been on several other ones and this was by far the most the most i've ever learned um both um composition-wise, technique-wise, uh, the cameras, even though I had different cameras. And he was easy to approach, and um, you didn't have to be afraid that he was going to snap at you or, or, you know, you stupid, you forgot that again, we got to explain it over again. But, you know, he, 
he knew that you were having a hard time grasping and he understood it so he just explained it over again and and um and I liked how he would like take a picture and show you what he got so we had an idea um what um what what we're looking for where I've not seen that before some of my favorite parts um they're kind of hard because there's so many of them but um I loved um the genuine teamwork that we all had together with the other photographers and Matt's interaction with us. If you if you want to have a really unique experience in life, this is it. I've been to another workshop from Matt that he had last year. And based on that workshop, I enjoyed it so much and I learned so much in that workshop that I decided I wanted to do another one and I did this one this year. And I've got two other workshops that I've already got scheduled with Matt because the way he approaches things, he has a sense of humor, which is good, mm -hmm. and he he just is so approachable and to everybody. And so he stays calm, he stays uh, cool and collected, but I think he is, I would recommend Matt's workshops to anyone that wants to take a photo workshop because you will learn a lot um, about yourself and about your photography, and you will learn what you want to do to change to make yourself better by right. taking pictures. So, there's so many memorable experiences this week. Um, I love the Schwabacher landing with the moose in the water and the Tetons behind it, and the the moose with the uh, the baby moose that we saw and took pictures of for over an hour. And that was just that was one of the best experiences. But the whole workshop was great. Mm -hmm. I've been out of photography for a couple years, but I would say. Without crying, this has renewed my love for it. I have always just taken pictures on automatic, on the <laughs> <a> camera. <laughs> and Matt has shown me how to, I need to change to manual and do my adjustments because it does take better pictures because you control the camera right. settings yourself instead of letting the camera control it. And it does make better pictures. So. That's one of the things that uh, Matt will do, is he'll help you understand how to make those manual settings work for the picture that you're going to take. Yeah. A wonderful week. Yes, it was a great week. Probably the best week of my life, yeah. With uh, outside other family things, probably. Wow, it is so incredible for me to hear those testimonials from my students and to know I've helped inspire them with renewed interest in photography and provided them with the skills they need to continue getting better at photography. As a photo educator, these are the transformations I strive for, and I'd like to provide you with the same opportunities to learn and explore with me, the same opportunities Regina and Pat took advantage of. So consider my 2023 Grand Teton June Landscape and Wildlife Photo Workshop or one of my other photo workshops and let's work together to increase your photo skills in addition to your enjoyment of photography and the great world around us.